Okay guys, welcome back to another video here. This is going to be totally different. We're going to design our own golf course. Uh, the plan is to do a hole every episode. So basically we're going to start off with hole number one. So let's go into the Greg Norman course designer. Uh, select new course. Now I'm going to do a links course because I stay uh, in Scotland. I stay on the coast. So it's something I'm quite familiar with, so we'll pick links, and probably those settings are going to be, I don't know where to do, just a little bit more hills, not too much, because links, links is quite a, a flat area anyway, it's not really got any, any hills to speak, right, so we'll start off with zero holes, now we're going to call the course, Somebody at the door. Right, I'm back guys, uh, just summed at the door there, right, um, right, this is not going to be the name of the course, but it's kind of the initial progress, uh, probably just going to call it Air Links, because that's obviously the town I stay in, um, right, Air Links, and we'll just call it that initially. So here we go, here's a plot of land we've got, uh, we could really start, I'm probably going to start in that bottom corner there, so we'll just zoom in here, and what we want to do is create holes, now I'm actually going to start, because you get you can actually start right here, What it kind of expands a little bit when you make the hole. So we're going to start here now, do we want to make the first hole a par 4 or a par 5? I think a par 4 to start with. So I'm watching the yards. I just actually, this, the first hole is going to be a pretty basic opening hole. It's going to be straight, it's not really going to be too much in the way of any curves or stuff. So we're just going to go straight up here. Uh, in fact, we could make it. We could make it a bit of a bend, but I don't know. Two five five, and then we'll go maybe to a bit. I want it to be roughly. Um, I'll try to think. Maybe about 140 yard approach, maybe 450, 452, and right, we'll put it right in there. And then that's going to create the first hole. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into, I think it's a way out, uh, fairways, and what we're going to do is, initially, trying to think where this is and we're going to put the hazards to zero the reason being um, we're going to create a links course so I don't want the bunkers are okay but they're not like links bunkers if you know what I mean they're not pot bunkers so I want to just take all the bunkers out uh, and what I want to do is put 
put my own bunkers in. So we've, we've got them as zero. So basically what we've got here is a course that's that doesn't have a bunker. And what we want to do is we want to add our own bunkers. Because what happened, as I said before, this is a Lynx course. So I want to sculpt my, my own bunkers and make it so that, you know, we're going to be... <coughs> excuse me. We're going to be making, like, proper pot bunkers. Right, so we're going to go... I want to check the distance. So I'm going to set a distance marker. There we go. And... Average drive in this game, I think it's 265 carry. That's obviously with perfect wind conditions. So there you go. There's, that's where the ball's going to carry to. So really, bunker-wise, we want to be making our bunkers so just at the catchment area, here and here, and then maybe a couple up. So let's start. I'm going to sculpt and flatten. Right, let's go in a bit. So there's the marker. That's roughly the carry, so I want to make a bunker. Maybe about here. Uh, do you want to make it a bit... Wrong button. Need to enter that. There we go. Can we just make it a bit smaller? And I want to go down... Maybe just go a bit here and make that one about five foot. And all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do another one, maybe even just go down a little bit deeper. Just pop that in there. And there we go, there's that's the two places for a for a pot bunkers. Oh, if I can get this, sometimes you zoom around, you go the wrong way. Right over here, we want one, I think, roughly. Maybe a bit there. And then bring this, make this a, a smaller one. And maybe just put it in a bit there. So there we go, there's the placements for a bunker. Now we're probably going to have a bit of roll out, so... In fact, I might even put... If that's 265... I'm maybe thinking about putting a bunker right in the middle of the fairway. Uh, you want to come up a little bit. Size, want to, do we want to scale it back? Just, maybe even just a little cluster of pot bunkers. Just make two, just, just there. Right. Let's see, that looks, that looks, initially that looks pretty good. So let's actually put the bunkers in. I see, this is the best way to do bunkers, I find. Especially if you're doing a kind of linksy type course. So let's just make it just a bit smaller than what, it, what we need it to be. No. Maybe move that up a bit. That's better. If you catch it in the wrong bit, you can actually get it too high. So again, we just want to make this roughly a bit there. Perfect. Right, these two little pot boys here. Let's just initially drop this in, see what it looks like. Maybe just move it up a bit. Let's zoom in. Let's just get this right. A bit there. Nice. Right, let's go to these ones. Okay, we want to maybe be up a bit here. Yep. And just resize us a touch. Get this in. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, I would say they're pretty much. So what we've got there is it's quite well. <clears throat> let's let's tee this up. 
can see what it looks like. And then we've not really done any, anything with the fairways. We're probably going to keep this one kind of at this size. Let's see. Yeah, so basically that's going to give us about... Yeah. My, that is tight. That is super tight there. We need to hit this absolutely perfect. Wait, I didn't actually see where that landed. Um, I don't know if we maybe have to move those bunkers just a touch. See if we put that bunker there. I just want to see if I can actually move this. Uh, I don't think we can actually. Um, right, we'll move that back in. I don't want it to be too difficult. I think we just bounced a bit here. Um, but I might even just, I might just put a wee sort of, I don't want to put another, oh, I could put a smiley face, that would be, <laughs> that would be kind of funny, but wait till we see what it looks like. Yeah, let's sculpt flatten. Right, let's resize. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's go down. Right, there we go. Let's put a bunker in there. I think I'm going to buy the bunker. Right, let's create a bunker. Right, I want to go over this one. Oh, I want. Right, let's see what that looks like. That's it's kind of quirky. Um, I don't know. It just means that if you play it, you maybe have to play to the side. So here we go. We're coming up to the start the bunkers. Yeah, pop bunkers are definitely the way to go. I reckon we need to go drive a bit here. Ah, you can see that's right on it. I mean, if we don't catch that perfect, if we're not 100% off the tee, yeah, that's, that could be tricky. Let's rewind the shot. Let's actually intentionally add it a bit high. See what happens. Oh, just made it. I'm actually trying to duff my shot now, which is actually proven to be quite hard. See, that's 100%, even with a pause. Yeah, that that's that's almost borderline. If, if the wind's slightly in your face, then you're going to have to adjust a little bit. 177. Right, 
Um, now let's go back and edit here. Now let's go back in. I don't know whether we want to change. We'll go to layout. Greens. Keep the greens fairly large. Slope. Medium. As I say, they don't have any hazards. Speed. Maybe we'll just slightly more firm. I've got the yellow flags. Now let's go to fairways. Now the fairways, we could make them. Um, I don't know whether they're too narrow, that's kind of borderline. I don't know about that smiley face now, it's maybe looking a bit too fussy. Now I don't know whether to take that other bunker away. Um, I don't know. Uh, mm. I want to make the want to make them quite firm because as, as I say, it's a length course, so usually they are quite firm. Um. Right, let's go back, let's see, T and rough, uh, rough, with heavy rough, we probably actually want it to be quite severe. Go with that. So we want it to be we want it to be really tough. T box. These are just all really the the markers you've got. Um probably prefer those. T furniture. Um what we got. Not really giving us anything. Right, we're not worried about that too much. That's not really concerned us. But I don't know whether to edit this out. I don't. Um, now I'm going to delete the bunker. Possibly even going to delete this bunker. I don't know where to bring this up. Sculpt and I don't know there's there is a button here and it goes red. Now I don't know whether that flattens an area. I'm not Don't know how that really works. Um, does that just tell you? I don't really get this. Hmm. 
No, I don't. I don't know what that that means. When it's, it goes that way. Now we're going to sculpt this back to roughly. That's right. Kind of looks weird. This is, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to this. Uh, let me bring that down a little bit actually. A bit there. That's kind of flat. I want to get it back to its original. I don't know if we make this bigger. Right, that might be. Alright, we're back to some kind of normality there. Yeah, I. I kind of like this one bunker here, just as a catchment, because uh, we're driving about this distance. So if we do catch one short, we could maybe roll into this, which I like. Um, and let's go and put some green bunkers. Now the size of the greens, let's go and check the layout. I don't know if I really want the greens like super big, but I don't want them like super small either. Um, so I think I might, I don't know, do we go with that? Is that appropriate? Yeah, that looks, that looks a bit right. Right, let's create some bunkers. We definitely want a bunker here. So let's make a wee... Oh, oh does that thing again. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that red circle means. I need to look into that. And we just make this... I would say about five foot. And then what we want to do is change this. I want to go to the bigger, this one here. Right, let's move this up. Maybe even just, just there. That's quite nice in that bank. I don't know, we maybe want another one. Maybe here, but let's resize this a little bit. I don't know where to go. We'll move, we'll move it round. We'll go with the contour of the green. We'll maybe go a bit here. Let me bring this one just up a bit. Maybe a bit four foot. Not as severe as the other ones. And there's our bunker layouts. Right, let's make some, put some bunkers in. So basically, as I say, what I want to do this is just an episode for every hole, and then we create a, at the end of it, we're going to have a, a course as such. So let's go with that. Sand, let's resize. Make sure we get it right in the bottom. 
leaf it. Now let's go to this one, zoom out a little bit, I change. We need this one. This one here be slightly smaller. You want it to fit roughly the shape that you've got. Right, here we go. Right, that's has got a bunkers. Yeah, looks pretty good actually. I like that. You get the runoff bunk at the back, you get this V pop bunk at the side. Now let's play the hole and see what it looks like. I reckon that might actually do the first hole. Uh, I might, <clears throat> in these video series, we're probably just going to flesh out the actual hole itself. Um, yeah, that bunk there is nice catchment. And fairly simple up to the green. Yep, I quite like that actually. Uh, we're probably just going to do like the green, the bunkers, that kind of thing. Uh, like gorse and heather and plants and all the kind of furniture and stuff we might just add at a later date. Because it might just take too long. Right, so the, the, I think the drive line here is just a bit, a bit there. Maybe just over in between those two little trees and bushes that, that you see. Yeah, that's pretty good. I quite like that because you've got the runoff over there. You've got a bunker. Uh, you know, we've drove through that gap. If you're short, you're going to bend that, that pot bunker. Um... I may actually make a run out bunker just up. Maybe just put it just above us here. I'm trying to think. Are we actually in line with that bunker there? Wait till we see. It's quite slow being round here. Yeah, there's a bunker there. That's actually not too bad. So that's a pro shot, see where we go. Yeah, I like that bunker just at the, the edge of the um edge of that green there. Quite a bit of break to these. Oh, just messed up. I actually quite like that. Right, we'll go back. Um, back into the designer. Uh, I don't really... I don't think there's much else to do. The only thing we could maybe do is... I'm going to leave the, the fairway pretty long. I don't know whether I want to add another bunker. Up here. If, if the wind's really blowing hard... Is there an opportunity we could put a catchment bunker up here in case it goes like maybe 300 yards? Let's actually see. Uh, I need my distance. Right, let's see because. Because we tee up here. And say we hit something that goes three hundred yards plus. So that's roughly going to be a bit there. Right, let's let's create a bunker just off to that. How good is these? Ah. 
that's better. Oh, that was coming for a while there. Right, let's go with this shape here. Um, let's turn it. I kind of want this one to come out. Kind of potentially, if the wind's blowing and we're able to punch it out there that distance, I want something there just to kind of just to catch us. Put a bunker. Bunkers are up here. Let's get bunker. Oh, like that. I keep forgetting to press that button to actually activate the. Now let's go over. Right in there. Right. That's yep. So there you can see those two lines that just where that point one is that would roughly be the two sixty carry. Now if we're slightly short for some reason if we don't hit it hundred percent that bunker there is gonna catch. Or if we're short over here we're fine, but if the wind takes it over can be quite nasty. And then this one here is the 300 yard, two, maybe 295 here. So if we catch one, it could actually, yeah, that could go in. Now let's play. I don't know if we can actually change change the wind settings. Um, let's see, let's go on the T. Settings. Can we change wind? Difficulty harvest that could be really quite tricky. Um, right, we don't actually have now. We don't really have a, 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 a we can change the actual wind. Right, so yeah, that one pop bunker in the fairway is nice. I like it. Right, we need to go a bit here. And there she goes. Yep. Yeah, that roll out bunker up there could be quite quite handy. Let's just rewind the shot. Let's maybe play it with a bit of feed uh, a bit of draw, sorry. So we'd actually be drawing it up over that bunker probably. Pretty decent. Right, what have we got? Yeah, let's just play one that's gonna maybe catch that bunker just a touch. Let's just go off a little bit. Right, we're actually back. Maybe just add, just take a bit more. Let's try this. That's probably going to get near that bunker. I just want to see how it affects. Yeah, that's just right on the edge. That's actually not a bad approach because it slopes in. Oh, just, just shot. Right. Let's go back. Um, well, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that hole, to be honest. Uh, 34 minutes. We might make this like a 40 minute video, so I might actually add... I might actually add a clubhouse. I see the bunker placements are pretty much where I want them to be, roughly. So let's go... 
and add a club house. Now remember, we probably need to make it. Probably actually need to make it over here because the 18th is going to come and probably finish. Just in front of the cop house, so we're probably going to put the cop house. I don't know if that's the front or back. Let's rotate it round. Uh, let's see what other cop houses we've got. Uh, it's a bit much, a bit big. Uh, we're definitely probably going to put a white house actually. I'm going to put a white house at the ninth hole. That way, that's your. You can see it in the distance, that's where you know you're going to turn back to the clubhouse. Um, what we got here? Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit. I'll probably go with that. No, I don't actually like that one, it's... I'll put the cop house of it here. And what else can we have? I don't know about putting a cart path in. Um mm. I really don't know. I, I kinda want maybe a cart path, but a lot of Scottish on courses don't actually have it as such. Um Out of bounds, I'm actually going to make the clubhouse is going to be out of bounds. Let's just get this squared up a little bit. Right, that's going to be out of bounds. And I kind of want to make, uh, let's go for that long strip. I kind of want to make this left hand edge out of bounds. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Let's see, it's got a good camera. Yeah, and then let's just extend this up a little. Maybe you can just cut it in a little bit. See, can he? Let's make this round here. And then we'll make it kind of parallel down here, but... Join it up with this. Yep. And then we'll turn this maybe round just a little bit. Maybe come off of this a bit. Yep, right. Right, that's out of bounds. Let's just see what it looks like. Zoom out. Yep. That'll do for out of bounds. Uh, what else? I think that's actually going to complete the first hole. I'm quite happy with the way out. It's, it's pretty decent. You know, we've got a nice drive up here. We've got that pot bunker just there. And the run out bunker at the top. And then we're putting a shot from here. And we're playing up. And into a relative basic green. But we've got these pot bunkers protecting. Right guys, that's probably going to conclude that video, when I'll get the save. So we'll save this, and there we go. And that is going to complete the first video of our new series, uh, which is basically just going to be um, building our own golf course, designing our own course part one. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.